guys, Alien here from AI's Tech Reviews, and this is the HP M27FW, another 27-inch monitor. As you may remember, I reviewed the Samsung T35F back in the summer, and I wasn't very impressed by it. So, let's see if this monitor is any better. Well, first up is the build quality. HP have done a better job than Samsung in this regard. The stand is actual metal, and while still may not be a great design, it's better than the quite poorly built and designed stand of the T35F. The body looks and feels solid too, apart from the fact that it almost looks like someone just stuck a piece of glass onto the front. From the front, it looks pretty good though. The bezels are plastic and flush with the display, and the bottom bezel is thicker and does protrude a bit, just like the Dell s 2421 hn and Samsung T35F. The display itself is a 27-inch 1080p IPS panel with a max refresh rate of 75Hz and a 5 millisecond response time. The overall image was pretty good, and I couldn't really see a major difference between 60 and 75Hz apart from the colours. The colours produced by the monitor were pretty much awful at 60Hz, and they were much better at 75, which wasn't the case for the S2421HN or the T35F. So bump up the refresh rate if your machine allows, and try using a different colour preset, or you could manually set the RGB balance. After solving this issue, the rest of the display is great, especially for games because you've got that AMD FreeSync. For ports you get two HDMI 1.4 ports, a VGA port, and of course your AC power port. Speaking of which, you have this power brick rather than a short cable like most monitors so you may not be able to use any other type of power supply apart from the one provided. There are no built-in speakers, nor is there a headphone jack, so your connected device will have to somehow be able to support audio. For movement of the monitor, you have a total of 30 degrees in tilt ranging from minus 5 to 25 degrees, and viewing angles uh, on the whole seem pretty good. Overall, I'm impressed with this monitor for £179, and this is a better deal at the moment than the Dell S2421HN, which has jumped from the same £179 to over £200 now from Dell. But this monitor has reasonable colours once calibrated, and doing so does bring a little extra sharpness. The response time and refresh rate is good, and the build quality is a solid 6 to 7.5 out of 10. So for £179, this is a pretty good monitor, but the Dell S2421HN at the time of recording is on sale, and at the moment a cheaper price, but the S2421HN at the time of recording is on sale and going for, for less than the HP monitor. So if you want a headphone jack and some better colours, I would recommend going for that instead. So if you found this helpful, consider subscribing and leaving me a follow on my Instagram and Twitter to see any videos I'm working on and let me know what you guys would want to see on this channel. Until then, I'll see you in the next one.